The monkeypox vaccination effort in New York City has been widely criticized, but this weekend, city and state leaders have vowed to ramp up distribution. CBS 2's Kevin Rincon has the latest from the newsroom. There have been more than 1,300 confirmed cases of monkeypox in New York, and most have been reported here in the city. That's created a demand for the vaccine that's not widely available, as many would hope. There have been lines at city-run vaccination sites throughout the weekend. At times, they've been long. Governor Hochul and Mayor Adams declared the outbreak an emergency in an effort to help speed up the response. It's going to allow more people to administer the vaccine, which will open up more locations. It will hopefully bring a lot more vaccines into our region, which it's sorely needed. The mayor says as many as 150,000 New Yorkers could be exposed to the virus, which makes knowing how it spreads important. According to the CDC, monkeypox can be spread through close personal, often skin-to-skin -skin contact. That includes touching a rash, scabs, or body fluids from a person with the virus. Another way to get sick, touching objects or surfaces that have been used by someone with monkeypox. Things like clothes, towels, or even bed linens. You can be sitting on the subway. You could have an open sore. It could be spread. Someone else could sit on there. So I think it needs to be expanded to be on specific populations. As we learn of more cases, there is growing frustration. Former FDA Commissioner Scott Gottlieb in a New York Times essay says our country's response to monkeypox has been plagued by the same shortcomings we had with COVID-19. He says if the virus gains a foothold in the U.S., it'll be one of the worst public health failures in modern times. Something that could have been prevented if we had planned better and prioritized things better. Jessica, New York has gotten less than 200,000 doses of the vaccine from the federal government. And keep in mind, this is a two-shot vaccine, while Connecticut is set to open its first vaccination sites tomorrow. In the newsroom, Kevin Rincon, CBS 2 News.